it continues to be a dynamic time for mobile operators as they grapple with trends such as increased work from home, remote learning, video collaboration, and telemedicine. As such, network capacity is more important than ever. Across the globe over the past year, IDC observed mobile network traffic increased between 30 and 50%, and in some cases, as high as 75% or more. While this has dipped a bit since last year, the effects of recent events on networks will be felt for some time. For example, IDC expects roughly 50% of workers will either continue to work remotely or have a hybrid work arrangement. Further, recent surveys also highlight that nearly two-thirds of today's remote workforce experiences performance issues with business-critical apps on an almost daily basis. To counter this, looking forward, IDC expects organizational spending across areas such as cloud-managed networking, remote work solutions, UCNC, and other areas to grow faster than expected. In fact, according to IDC's ongoing Future Enterprise Resiliency and Spending Survey, which seeks to uncover how enterprises will address connectivity post-pandemic, nearly 44% of respondents indicated plans to spend more on 5G devices and connectivity services than previously anticipated. However, without a capable mobile network to connect these organizations, these efforts could fall short. In effect, mobile networks are experiencing a prolonged peak demand event, which in our view has accelerated the 5G imperative and demonstrated the importance of the role that our mobile networks play today. By 2024, IDC expects the collective annual spending on private LTE and 5G infrastructure by enterprise customers to reach nearly $6 billion alone. As a result, we expect mobile operators to aggressively pursue the private connectivity opportunity over time, which could include the use of techniques like network slicing. Observing 5G spectrum auctions, it is clear that the ability to future-proof for capacity and performance remains top of mind. For example, the recent C-band auction in the United States far eclipsed prior spend, grossing over $80 billion. Clearly, higher bandwidth is in demand. So then, how do we feel mobile operators can deal with these expected challenges and ensure network performance while managing costs? In the case of Nokia's latest airscale 5G radio and baseband solutions, these considerations are addressed. For example, Nokia's airscale RAN enhancements result in mobile operators being better positioned to scale up capacity in a modular and flexible way, helping to minimize risks, smoothly transition from existing technologies to 5G, and more easily and cost efficiently deploy the latest site solutions, considering the congested nature of today's cell sites. Additionally, the integration of the new ReefShark system on chips across the Airskill radio and baseband portfolio helps boost both performance and capacity. Considering the baseband, enhancements enable a new level of integration density, allowing for lean multi-cell, multi-technology distributed sites, and massive capacity centralized baseband hotels. Operators can benefit as Nokia's new line cards are able to work alongside their existing cards protecting their investment and simplifying rollout. Considering the new antennas, the massive MIMO antenna design sets a new benchmark in low weight, but not at the expense of RF bandwidth. Importantly, this combination helps to solve common challenges such as mass loading and non-contiguous spectrum allocations. And finally, these solutions help reduce base station power consumption, which is good for cutting network OPEX and emissions. Overall, we expect 5G network enhancements to play a foundational role in helping mobile operators optimally address an increasingly dynamic mobile services space, and one that will certainly require network solutions to efficiently deliver more capacity.